phase and diastolic phase information. Whether it is systolic, it is positive. Whether it is diastolic, it is decreased, but it is still positive. I have drawn a black line for you. This I have done myself. Doctor is requesting decline. So my dear, <clears throat> this black line which I have drawn for you, you can see that above this black line, there is a change, systolic and diastolic. But below the black line, there is continuous flow. Same flow is going on and on and on, whether it is systolic or diastolic phase. Such flow in which you see a continuity. You see, it is continuously flowing without any change. So this flow below the black line is forward diastolic flow. Above the black line, there is up and down, up and down according to systolic and diastolic phase. This type of information is called phase information. It is on the, on one side of the baseline, it is positive shift, it is, it will appear uh, in above the baseline. Now here you see, there is positive shift, but there is a negative element as well. This is the negative element. So the flow is in one direction and then the diastolic fall, it goes below the baseline. So the flow is moving ahead and for a short period, it comes back. This type of flow in which the, in the diastolic phase, the flow is reversed and that reversal of flow is seen below the baseline. This again is phase information and the flow below the baseline is negative Doppler shift. In other words, there is a positive push but then it recoils back. This type of negative diastolic flow is seen when there is fetal distress and this type of positive forward diastolic flow is seen in normal fetuses. Now I'm going to show you how the umbilical artery Doppler normally is. As you have just noticed, there is a systolic rise and diastolic fall, and there is a forward diastolic flow all the time. If the fetus start having some distress due to maybe maternal hypertension, the systolic pressure, the fetal cardiac output the heart of the fetus will try to increase the velocity, but diastolic fall will be there. And then a stage will come when there will be no diastolic flow between two systolic peaks. There is some flow in the diastole, but then there is absence, absence of flow. This zero diastolic flow is fetal distress. And then comes the negative flow, as you can see here. So, over here, there is zero diastolic flow. And here, there is negative diastolic flow on the opposite side. This is called reversal of diastolic flow. Uterine artery Doppler. 
normally uterine artery doppler is on one side of the baseline a positive flow as you can see there is a systolic rise and then there is a fall with a notch here early diastolic notch this is a non gravid uterus this is how the phase information of non gravid uterus will come and this notch is seen when the aortic valves they close this is forward flow and then the systolic rise again look at this again uterine artery doppler with a diastolic notch but when a uterus becomes pregnant we will see that due to increased demand of the uterine contents the fetus is developing placenta and all that the flow in through the diastolic phase will increase and this notch will get filled this notch here you can see the notch and here you don't see it so it is filled this is how we find increased flow through the uterine artery in a growing fetus uh, here i would like to request all the participants that maybe some of my explanations to you are a bit confusing or you are not following me properly Uh, please bear it with me you can just make a whatsapp message which i will reply later on tomorrow or day after tomorrow but you don't have to send any whatsapp message at this moment i would request you not to send any whatsapp message during the lecture i i cannot read your whatsapp messages and i cannot reply to your whatsapp messages so there is no fun in sending me any message now please try to concentrate on what we are discussing here you can see that the no diastolic notch is absent it is filled with blood because the growing fetus demand and the placental demand the feto maternal exchange all are increased we will do this in our one of our patients in a moment she is pregnant and we'll see how we will find the filled diastolic notch and later on more and more diastolic flow will be seen forward diastolic flow as the fetus grows in the uh, late uh, second trimester and also in the third trimester middle cerebral artery doppler in the head we will discuss the anterior middle and posterior cranial fossae and we will see this circle of villus made up of the anastomotic branches of the internal carotid and vertebral arteries and if you closely see you can appreciate two long arms of a of some animal 
has having two small legs so we call this a flying monkey this is the head these are the two legs and these are the two long arms these long arms are the middle cerebral artery arising from the circle of villus brain being a vital organ if the fetus is anemic due to any reason maybe due to rh incompatibility or parvovirus infection of the mother that can also produce fetal anemia or any torch infection cytomegalovirus etc if the fetal blood is anemic if there is anemia brain being a vital organ will get the lion's share and more blood will be shunted towards the brain more blood will pass through the middle cerebral artery so we will see the middle cerebral artery arteries peak systolic flow velocity will increase there is a formula which we have designed how to calculate the peak systolic velocity for a fetus of for middle cerebral artery to confirm or to suspect suspect that fetal anemia has taken place if a fetus is say 30 weeks of age deduct 10 from that So thirty minus ten is twenty. Multiply twenty with three; it is sixty. Peak systolic velocity of the middle cerebral artery. Its upper limit for a thirty weeks fetus is sixty centimeter per second. This we will do for you in a moment when we will see that patient of obstetrics. In the obstetrical patient, first we will do. Uh, a routine scan of the fetus and then we will try doing doppler whichever is possible so this is the middle cerebral artery normally this you can say the middle cerebral artery the circle of villus yeah so this is the middle cerebral artery. one and two these are the anterior cerebral and these are the posterior cerebral there you see the middle cerebral in this fetus the peak systolic is okay but forward diastolic flow of the middle cerebral artery is increased due to some fetal distress now here you see tall systolic peaks because of fetal anemia there you see tall systolic peak ductus venosus doppler we see this molar tooth appearance with diastolic because it is a venous return though it contains oxygenated blood so during diastolic phase the flow increases through the veins the return increases but in the systolic cardiac systole the flow through the vein will decrease which you can see here i have again drawn a black line here and below this black line there is a continuous flow whether it is diastolic phase or systolic phase so there is continuous flow and this notch which actually results from the cardiac systole and and this notch shows that the flow through the ductus venosus has decreased so this is the normal shape 
the molar tooth appearance just like the molar tooth appearance of ductus spinosus and there you see there the systolic phase it has touched not only the baseline but it has gone gone on to the opposite side indicating fetal distress so during cardiac decompensation fetal cardiac decompensation we will see this systolic notch crossing the baseline or touching the baseline or crossing it to the opposite side we will show you these two together so now we are going to adjust the ultrasound machine for you and we will be seeing ye kya hoga ha acha ab ye main isko main chahta hu नहीं वो उसी पे जाना है ये 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 